Hey everybody, we're back. Oh, director's cut. Where's my controller? There's my controller. Cut front to wire. A little bit, a little bit wrapped around the wire. It's really not fair of Liam to offer better alternative Resident Evil content at the same time I'm offering Resident Evil content. So we left off um, in the caverns with Jill. Check the memory cards. <clears throat> there it is. Courtyard room. Huh. It is honestly a little weird that they don't just call it caverns. It's considered on the map as part of the courtyard. I suppose it saves separating 
the two parts of the courtyard because that other part of the courtyard is like one room. Uh, oh. Alright, so let's get back into the survival horror. Have a drink. <clears throat> Good luck. So I think we're almost done with the caverns. I think I need to crank at least one more time. Let me put this down. All right. <clears throat> oh, jeez. All right, let's take a look at the map, figure out what's going on. <clears throat> All right, so there's a door to my left, dead end over here. <clears throat> let's see what else we got. in there. Round and round it goes again. <clears throat> and one more time. So, door. Is that on the map there? Out is a separate room. Alright. Okay, so. Turn into the room. Come on. Awesome. Okay, so this one doesn't open up a new door. That's looking like it's kind of low. Let me turn it up a bit. Up the underground. Basically at the end of the underground. I suppose that's mostly there to give away that there's a door there. Maybe, I guess. Ooh, another modisk. That's two. So if we're gonna rescue Chris, we only need one more. Ah, this room. The dumb room. Alright. <clears throat> Thereabouts? Yes, it is. Excellent. And then use it again. This room is something that is made stupider in the remake, undeniably. Which we'll see when we get to it. Right. Okay. I need to go and get the other medal. Alright. Good reminder, at least.
Back to the chest. I don't feel like hunters. Remember rightly, hunters basically stop appearing after the underground. Because the lab is zombies and chimeras, if I recall. <clears throat> I don't think I need you anymore. I can put you away. Where did I put the other mode disc? There you are. Perfect. How much magnum ammo do I have? 18 shots. <clears throat> Let's do this. Those snakes are clearly coming from nowhere. I'm going to clear up two inventory slots in a minute anyway. Right, here we go. It's weird that that's automated. And then they don't automate you getting in the elevator. That's a weird idea. Here we are, the laboratory. Yeah, so that's the way we're getting out. <coughs> okay, let's get the handgun back out, I guess. Plenty of ammo there. I forget exactly where I need to use the modusks. <clears throat> Probably not worth keeping them around with me. We did use that last armor key though. Alright, we can roam the lab for a bit. <coughs> there's, there's more than one chest down there.
What up, Clem? I mean, if it isn't, then I guess we'll just have to get more. Leave those herbs for now. Oh, yeah, there's the first mo room. Oh, mo desk. What are you? The last mo desk. Excellent. Did you do this recently? I feel like you did this recently. I'm the right mo desk. <clears throat> we'll find them. We're exploring. Yeah, it's going. Yeah, it's going. This is Zambambo. Get back down there. Mo mo mo. How do you like it? How do you like it? Mo mo mo. E ever popular streamer Fox Sound Cat is in the building. There's a switch. Clem, I feel like you're very far behind right now. <clears throat> Thanks for the shower for Fox and Cat, Clemothy. Ooh, more money. Bullets are my currency. Someone used this only recently. The only person it could have been is Wesker. Or Barry. Uh, da, 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 da. How you doing, Cat? It's weird that Ada is capitalized. Like, um, the operating system in Jehuity in Zone of the Enders. Let me just take care of that real quick. Wacky internet, you say? Ada! I need to get some more emotes. Especially since Twitch just gave everybody, what was it, like full access to emotes? Rather than needing a specific number of uh, subscribers. Alright. Oh no, I mean like ages ago. Tree, apple, man, woman. It's very nice of Umbrella to label these objects in the picture specifically for their scientists who may not know what any of these are. Which is what I'm looking for. Right, so it's a cipher. All right. C. 
so P Q A R M. Yeah, that spells more, all right. I'm gonna take this because I don't think I'll be back here. I love puzzles. <clears throat> such such good things. I wonder where this card goes. Ah, oh, this is the Chris card. Last word is feck. Alright. Thanks, Cap. I don't want to walk this way, man. Someone has some booty. Electronically locked. Yeah, I think this one's dead. Alright, slightly locked. That's a booty. Let me just, uh, 96, let me check my AOL Instant Messenger. You could make fun of just how simple this guy's password is, and his login is just his first name. But this was 90, uh, 98. 98 set in 96. Yeah. Yes, that's probably the power room. I, I don't know what that is. <clears throat> Alright. Let's pick up this incriminating evidence. Slides. Uh, this is the remake star. Hey, do man? Fucking love how good the GameCube looks. It's Star Shadow Knight. 
Take him down, boys. All right, at what point do I need to start worrying about Chimera? These motherfuckers respawn. Hmm. Ah, bitch. This might have been a mistake. It's okay, we're fine. Just gonna... Let's go with this room first. There we go. It was the one I unlocked. <coughs> unfamiliar physics symbols are written here. They're unfamiliar because you don't learn not in Jill. That's a button. I feel like it would be cheaper, easier, and just more effective to either have a bookshelf or a safe. Like, a hidden panel is kind of needless. E Flame Scion. How are you doing, Flame? Uh... A. Wesker. Sound of burn. Good stuff. Arnold Wesker. The Ventriloquist. <clears throat> A. Wesker? I wonder if it's related to our captain, A. Wesker. Alberto. Alberto Wesker. Alright, what's in here? A key. Alberto Esquero. It's just Wesker with like a fake mustache on. Umbrella Ink, Bioweapon Materials. I found a literal photo with Wesker in it. The Cerberus. <clears throat> hmm. Fake mustache and a mariachi hat. Neptune. The, going into Resident Evil Law, like a lot of the bioweapons are mistakes or accidents. The Neptune was specifically designed, which is weird. The Hunter. The Tyrant. The Blank Page. Is that Jeremy Irons on the left? Okay, mirrors were a failure, yeah. The ultimate failure. I feel like it's like Jeremy Irons with slip back hair on the left. He's wearing shades in the lab because you wouldn't recognise him otherwise. Chances are that's the entire reason why he's wearing sunglasses, because it's a distinguishing feature. 
a screen. <clears throat> yeah, let me go and grab one of the things. discs and there all righty <coughs> master what are you doing here is it because the power isn't on it was lame Fox holding you. I've lived in Arkley longer than you. So call me if you have any questions about the flora or fauna around here. It is pretty much Umbrella. So many of their B.O.W.s are just accidents. Like, their best B.O.W.s are accidents. <clears throat> okay, so... If I go this way... Get your naked ass off my floor! The giant scorpion is one of the dumbest things. I mean, they foreshadow it a little bit, but like, jeez. Yeah, no, it's just a giant scorpion on this moving train. Doodles, giant centipede. See doodles. Uh, doing this with Chris is gonna be a pain. Like, unbelievably so. Just because of the, the less space. Well, it's the thing, like, this game gives that away pretty quickly as well. It's like, hey, here's the ultimate bioweapon, the Tyrant, with its herniated organ. Okay. Doodles. 
Made it back, made an oopsie. I am so glad that after RE2's uh, B scenario block pushing bullshit, the series barely ever did this again. I say that and now I'm thinking, wait, no, they did with fucking zero. One puzzle in zero. I'm in the goddamn vent, Jill. It's right there. <clears throat> yeah, the um, Mr. X variant was the best of them. But to create those, they had to harvest the glands of teenage boys. It's the only way they could do it. Actual cannon. We'll be getting to Survivor. All the fun that entails. I look forward to Survivor actually, I've been wanting to do it for the stream for ages. Yeah, by that point, Umbrella was just deep in the let's be evil for the sake of being evil phase. In, like, in terms of the writing for them. Honestly, Flame, I'm gonna just wing it. It's been long enough since I've done Survivor that I don't remember which pathway uh, gives me which villain. Because there's the three main antagonists of Survivor, and depending on which area you go to first, you end up with a different one. Um, Vincent, trash keep, uh, trash sweeper, dude, or um, the the janitor. It's a morgue. It's Magnum Bullets. But yeah, I'll, I'll just wing it. What'd I do? Probably should have practiced this before I fucking bastards. Probably should have practiced this before I did it, but nope. This is what I do. It is how I do it. <clears throat> the janitor I should probably bring a shotgun yeah Janet really just has a grudge yeah damn the zombie wanted some punishment All right, get some goodies. Gonna take these. <clears throat> With all the magma we've got, we'll never need to use the bazooka again. But that means we can use the bazooka for other things. Um, put this away and get one of those two, because there you go. A Legendary Resident Evil player, Seek the Gamer. How you doing, Seek? 
Same era with the Haunter, yeah. But in Haunters in Survivor are nightmares. Just because of the way damage works in that game. Let me throw this away for the final time. Bring out this bad boy. Beautiful son of a bitch. I get all my modisks. How did uh, Dragon Quest 7 go last night, Teak? I would have liked to have been there, but you started streaming at like 2 in the morning. Ari one hunters, yeah. Doing well, you accept Ooh, new job. Excellent. I'll be given the what for at your current job before you leave. Earn those bridges. It's like it's been a week, yeah, you mentioned uh, on Monday when we streamed. It was Monday. I'm glad you're doing alright though, Teek. Did you pick up Spider-Man on PC? I feel like that's something you would do. I haven't got a whole lot of interest in Soul Hackers 2 at the minute, honestly, Flame. I'll get it eventually, but it doesn't look that great. Oh, like I'm hearing it's not great. Plus the, the DLC issue now, Atlas is getting fucking ridiculous with it. Or it's like... It seems like essentially like required story content is now DLC. And like I'm not supporting that. Atlas has been getting worse and worse with that. <clears throat> Maybe it will be. I got it. And let me tell you, cranking that FOV up to max is beautiful. Haha, <laughs> bitch. Yes. And I ran. I ran so far away. Asura's Wrath's an interesting case. Because that was my assumption. Um, partly because of the way they marketed it. That was bullshit. Partly because of the way they marketed it. Bullocks. 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 Um, like the DLC is like, oh yeah, no, uh, part four, the true ending. <laughs> but, um, from what I've found looking into it in the years since, part four is essentially the cancelled sequel. Like, the idea was it was the Azura's Wrath ends on a sequel hook. And then that would have been the sequel, but it didn't sell well enough. And that's why Part 4 has some new mechanics. It was originally going to be sequel content. It doesn't change the fact that um, ending a game like that with a sequel bait, with sequel bait, is like complete shit. Face restoration would be nice. The face looks better in motion, like, I'll definitely admit that. It's better in motion than it is seen pictures, but the old face was more distinct, honestly. It just felt better.
I feel like there's something else in there. Let me go back in. Well, there's been some fun mods so far, and just, like, some of the gameplay stuff is really nice. I'll be picking up Miles Morales when that comes out, because I haven't got that yet. Note to self, use the bazooka next time. Alright. Uh, but yeah, some, some of the stuff's been pretty cool. Um, uh, with my my game, I cranked the FOV up to max, and it's really nice. Like, it really gives you a greater sense of speed while swinging through the city. Which makes me think I need to mess with the FOV in... Um, other games that I've got. Not as weird as you'd think, but it does support PlayStation controllers. If you've got a DualSense, then it'll take that. And the standard controller pictures that it shows when it's not showing your button layouts are of the, the DualSense. Oh, you didn't end up getting FF7 Remake? I thought you did. I'll, I'll, I, that's going to be a case kind of similar to Spider-Man, because it's Spider-Man Remastered, and I haven't got a PS5, so I haven't played it yet. FF7 Remake, it's integrated, so it's got like the extra content. I'll get it eventually, but fucking not for the price. Like, absolutely not for that price. That's an eventually purchase. Yeah, I'll, I'll get it for the stream at some point. It'll be mostly the thing, because I'm not going to replay FF7 Remake otherwise. Because, like, the game's good, but it's not, I want to replay this all the damn time good. Or even, like, I want to replay this a second time to have a completed save on my PC. Yeah, no, maybe I'll make it... I'll, I'll get it eventually. Maybe I'll make it, like, a point reward to do it again. Mm-hmm. <coughs> Integrate or just FF7 Remake? Because, like, I'd be down to replay parts of FF7 Remake. Not the whole thing. Like, I don't want to do War Market again. I don't need that. Awesome. That's the last code. <clears throat> yeah, there are, there are sequences I'm down to redo. It'd be worth checking what mods there are for it. Like, if there's a mod to remove the requirement to have an ATB gauge when using items, absolutely, I'll replay the game for that. If there's a mod to, like, fix Hell House, sure thing. Oh, Chris, you're in the void. Anyway, I have to open this room. Oh, it doesn't work. Well, Chris, I'll be sure to come back and help you soon. Will you wait here? 
<laughs> I'll be waiting here for you. Will you wait here? No. Where else is he gonna go? The Void? Uh, what do you mean, Clem? Not a fan of God Mode? I mean, there's that, but I'm f I'm down with the standard design. Maybe a mod to take off Barrett's sunglasses? Because they, they irritated me. But, um... <clears throat> Almost finished charging. The Hell House is God Mode. <sighs> God. Were you there when I fought Hell House, Clem? Like, mm. Its vulnerability state is far too short. It's just not fun. Um, the Resident Evil games we're playing, Flame, are going to be every game released between 96 and 2006. I can go and meet Wesker now, can't I? You son of a bitch. <clears throat> they really are. Like, if there's one thing I'm hoping for for Rebirth, it's that they tweak the battle system. Because it's close, but it's not there yet. And again, it's frustrating. The same way it was frustrating with Final Fantasy XV, because they had a really good action and menu-based action battle system in Kingdom Hearts in 2002. Um. Yeah, fixing how aggro works would be good. Rufus was definitely an issue. Not as bad as Hellhouse, but not a fun fight. Overall, the combat is better than 15. Like, undeniably. I definitely give it that. Because it felt like I could actually do the combat in FF7 Remake, which was nice. I've said before, by the end of FF15, I still didn't have a good grasp on doing the combat. So in the final dungeon, I'm just necking... What do you mean there's no power? In like, the final dungeon, I'm just necking potions. Glug, glug, glug. Uh, but yeah, Flame, every Resident Evil game released between 96 and 2006. And I mean every Resident Evil game. <sighs> when I get to 15, like... We're gonna do 15 on PS4 rather than PC. Largely because I'm gonna do all of 15. Like, when we get to 15. And by all of 15, I mean everything. Wesker. Episode Dusuke Platinum Demo, 15, Royal Edition. Um, like, all of it. Because there's the thing, Episode Dusuke played better than 15. I've done Survivor 2 on, I've done Survivor 2 on stream before. One of my clips is... If you check the clips, Flame, one of them is from Survivor 2. I really need to do 12. And the sooner I get around to just doing that on stream so I can actually do it, the better. As I've said before, I never finished 12. It ended up boring me. But I'm older now, and God knows I want to do more of the Matsuno games. I'm sat here talking up Tactics Ogre. All the damn time. I'm going to burn all of them together with this entire laboratory. I must complete my mission as ordered by Umbrella. Barry, go up on the ground and wait there. Barry. See, that's the thing. I want to like twelve. I want to give twelve another chance now that I have a more mature taste. He'll be under the control 
sort of umbrella for Aaron. How come both Umbrella and you intimidate him by taking his family as hostages? Umbrella? Well, I intimidated him, but it had nothing to do with Umbrella. I just used him for my personal purposes. Though both you and Barry seem to think I was... Personal purposes, if you know what I mean. So you're planning something else? <laughs> Various incarnations of Link. Well, here's the fun thing for you, Flame. I live in the UK, okay? I'm English, so if you say Mr. Quest to me, I am very much within my rights to turn around and say, okay, and then play Final Fantasy Adventure. Yeah, if you pay attention here, you'll notice there's no sound of the elevator going up, and Wesker should really notice that. So it's all been masterminded by him. But it's good that you know that now. Anyway, let's get out of this house first. Jill. Yes, what? Do you have any idea what Wesker was going to show you at the back of this place? Well, he was talking about the world's most powerful. But yeah, um, in Europe, before Final Fantasy VII, we only got two Final Fantasy games. Final Fantasy Adventure and Mystic Quest. And neither of them were called Final Fantasy, Adventure, Final Fantasy over here. Final Fantasy Adventure on Game Boy was called Mystic Quest. And Mystic Quest on Super Nintendo was called Mystic Quest Legend. So if you tell somebody from the UK to play Mystic Quest, there's a good chance they'll play Final Fantasy Adventure. Yes, I believe so, Flame. Just a little, um, regional differences in naming for you. I've said, I've said that before, though. I'll bring up stuff like that whenever it's relevant. And whenever it's not relevant. That's what I do. Not completely developed. <laughs> but we can't let it live. That must be the computer for monitoring this creature. I'm entirely confident in Barry's ability to work a computer. Alright, let's do this. Dun dun, 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 dun. We'll find out. Yeah, why not? Let's let's go and check out the self destruct room. Later, bitch. I wasted a magnum shot there. Kill the first tyrant. Watch out for the second. Ah, oh, but flame! Now you'll never know if Wesk is in the self in the um self destruct room. Thanks for joining us, flame. You take care of yourself. We'll catch you later. Uh, can we get Flame a shout out? Flame does stream, but isn't currently streaming at the moment. Uh, currently away from streaming, but does plan to come back to it eventually. Cool people, Flame. What does this button do? Doubt will torment you. Uh, you can always check the VOD.
We'll go and check it, and you can check the VOD later if you want, Flame. Catch you later, Flame. Check the self destruct room, and because chimeras are just out and about, let's swap the magnum out for the bazooka. Also, gotta go and find Chris. Go. It's interesting how with both characters, if you take the path to the good ending... There we go. If with both characters, if you take the path to the good ending, you never end up setting off the self-destruct. It's done for you. Bitch. <laughs> Bitch. Ah, oh, let's get out of here. And then Remake came along and made it so, no, he was definitely killed by the tyrant. My meat. My meat. There we go. There's a Tarrant kills him in Chris's scenario. In this. I think maybe Jill's scenario if Barry's dead. Did Barry die before this scenario in OGR1? Possible. That way. Ganged by a chimera. That's an interesting verb. I like how pathetic it is, though, in especially in comparison with what Le Wesker later becomes. It's like, oh yeah, no, Wesker, the big bad of the series. The coolest villain. And it's like, in OGRE 1, he's a complete dork. Hey, it's Amber. How are you doing, Amber? Sorry for keeping you waiting. So everything is done? Well, almost, yes. Now let's go. Welcome to my no death Jill good ending run. It was supposed to be gang. You got gang tops. You know what? I like gang. Can we get Amber a shout out, please? Amber is, of course, a super cool streamer who uh, plays Resident Evil a lot. Absolutely no damage. I have taken zero damage this entire playthrough. I am doing so well. 
Watch that change when we get to um, Tyrant. Thank you. Later, fuckers. <laughs> to be fair, that was funny. Oh, you're driving, huh? Right. I was just getting... When you said, like, it was supposed to be ganked instead of ganked, it was like, okay, you're on your phone. Like, fair enough. But, like, gang, ganged is funny. Like, we should keep that. Chris, did you take my gun out of the box? You didn't have a gun a minute ago. Alright, so... If I can't kill Tyrant with 20 Magnum rounds, then we have a serious problem. Gonna just put these here, though. Chris, of course, voiced by the legendary Scott McCulloch, who would later go on to do voices for other games you have undoubtedly played from this time period. He played Richter Belmont in Castlevania Symphony of the Night. He was the narrator in both of the Nintendo 64 Castlevania games, and he was some... the narrator, maybe, in Time Crisis? He was in Time Crisis. I can't remember exactly what as. Fucking Time Crisis though, man. Absolutely beautiful game. <clears throat> you alright there, Barry? He might be, Cat. He might be. I played Time Crisis in the arcade a few months ago and it was absolutely fantastic. Love Time Crisis. Actually, a fun thing of, um... If you know how to do it, it's not difficult to set up a light gun. For PC emulation. You can use, like, a Wii sensor bar and a Wii remote. And use them as use it as a light gun for your PC. It's absolutely fantastic. One thing that might be of interest to you, Cat, uh, I think it was me who posted it on my Discord. Uh, a Kickstarter or an Indiegogo for a light gun for like PlayStation and PlayStation Two that will work on modern TVs. Like absolutely down for that. Fucking love Time Crisis. It's the entire reason I have a PS Move. Is I bought a PlayStation Move before VR came out and the prices jumped up. And then I bought all of the light gun games on PlayStation 3. Just gonna, just gonna take this. Just gonna go over here. Don't need a Series X, thank you, Microsoft. The best, the best Pac-Man game for a house party is Pac-Man Versus on GameCube. Absolutely fantastic. It's a shame nobody remembers it. Power Slide! Hey, 
E flame, you're back to see the ending. Uh, Wesker was in fact dead in the the trigger room. Game over. E. No death run. You could say Wesker got triggered. Wow! <clears throat> so we're probably not going to get a good rank. But let's see what rank we got. Raccoon City time. That's <laughs> looks like leftovers of MK4, mate. Fatality. I doubt I play a bunch of fighting games on this channel, but MK4 is not one of them. That said, I'd play MK4 before I'd play MK3. <clears throat> and they all lived happily ever after. Who's Rebecca? Interaction between Chris and Barry in the series. Unless you read the novels. To be fair, it's a really catchy song. Like, that guitar riff? Absolutely fantastic. Thank you for the GG's, Teak. And Amber. <sighs> oh, RE1 doesn't give you a rank, does it? Hmm. Under four hours is still good, though. Like, that, that gets me the special key, doesn't it? None of the alternate costumes in this first game are particularly good. <clears throat> I was actually thinking about that kind of thing earlier today, uh, Flame. And, like, we call RE1, like, maybe a 7 out of 10 these days. But back when this came out, this was a solid, like, 8. 8 out of 10. This is a damn good game. Like, it's only real problem going forward is the RE2 did it better. But this is a damn good first game. <clears throat> We've only gone, we've gone for less than an hour and a half. 
Silent Hill was also good when it came out. And the only reason I've got le less interest in replaying Silent Hill 1 is because so much of the wandering around in the dark is just unappealing to me. Like, it's great up until... Um, you're just exploring the other world. Oh, you mean uh, Deadly Silence, Teak? Because, yes, absolutely. <clears throat> Um, so we're not going to start Chris right now. Uh, what we'll do is we'll take a look at a few interesting bits. Uh, Amber, you remember I told you about the first zombie bit when we were in when your stream the other day? You want to hear where that is, aren't you? I can't remember exactly what area it is, like, after you fight the worm and shit, and you're just running through the other world, like, not even the fog world, the other world, and it's just dark, and all the streets are metal gratings, and it's just not appealing. Um, I'm gonna show that thing I was talking to you about on your stream the other day, about the zombie coming into the dining room. Because I want to start Chris's campaign right now. It will only go for like another half hour if that. Is it? I thought it was after the moth boss. You fight the lava and then you go outside and you fight the moth. It's one of the least interesting parts of the game, and it lasts too long. In comparison, Silent Hill 2 doesn't have anything like that. Moth is before before the Moth is Dark Silent, that's fair enough. Oh no, I know what you're saying, like you kill the Moth and it goes back to Fog World. But I feel like that whole bit I'm thinking of happens later. Maybe after meeting Dahlia on the boat? I don't know, it's been a while. I've, I haven't played um, Silent Hill since the last time I streamed it. Is the game volume alright for you guys? Uh, Silent Hill 1? Probably not. Investigate if you hear any gunfire. How's that, guys? Yeah, playing horror stuff on... Playing anything that required close examination like that on PSP was tricky. Okay, so now that that's happened, who is it? Hey, you stop. Run, Jill. He's insane. Shot memories is solid on PSP, though it's I think it's probably best on Wii. What the hell? <clears throat> Report this to Wesker. <clears throat> Wesker! Help me look for him, Jill. And don't leave this hall for the time being. <clears throat> Find 
anything, Jill? Um. Yeah, I, I, I don't know. I've not got a whole lot of interest in doing Silent Hill 1 again on stream anytime soon. 2, maybe. Um, I was supposed to do 4 for Halloween last year. No, you can go behind the stairs in this. I did it. Uh, I did it last time. The reason I went up the stairs this time is because last time in that last save we just finished, I went behind the stairs. But yeah, um... We check the schedule for Halloween. I did set this year's Halloween schedule already. Uh, Silent Hill 4 we're doing. Kudelka, Until Dawn, Clock Tower, The First Fear, The Sinking City, Condemned Criminal Origins, Alone in the Dark Inferno, and Eternal Darkness, Sanity's Requiem. Which is going to be the second playthrough of that. It's going to be a continued save from the last time I streamed it. Yeah, oh gee, there's just a gap behind the stairs. Uh, yeah, that's not locked. It is not that alone in the dark flame. Yeah, if we head over here now, Kenneth's legs are missing. Like, if you cause, cause that scene to happen when the zombie comes through the door, the idea, I think, is supposed to be that he's finished eating Kenneth, and then he comes through the door. And you also can't get the ammo off Kenneth here. There's no ammo to get from him. Uh... Inferno is the enhanced port of the Xbox 360 version that's on PS3. If you guys are interested, um, the Halloween schedule is up on the Discord in the Chrono Schedule channel. Anything else interesting to show off? We can check out the door. Yes, OG Alone in the Dark is getting the remake. Which I'm interested in because people forget it. But OG Alone in the Dark is actually a Cthulhu inspired game. So in the remake, if you open the door, the dogs just jump in. You've got a dog in the hallway. Which is a problem because dogs are dangerous in there. Um, Let's see. Uh, there are some alternate scenes with Barry, though. Like, there is the scene you can get with Barry. I haven't finished Until Dawn. I've played like an hour of it. Yeah, and they stay there till you kill them. So there's a scene you can get with Barry here with Forrest. This, you don't get this if you find Barry in the top, uh, in the in the main hall. I enjoyed the hour, I just never ended up playing more, which is the story of my life with video games in the past 10 years. I played 20 minutes, I played an hour, I played 2 hours, I played 5 hours, and then just never went back to it. Me and Barry here, though, means that you don't have to deal with crows. I'm going to find out what caused Forrest's death. It looks like he was killed by a crow or something. 
Can you look around the first floor, Jill? Okay. Hey, Jill. This must have been Quarists. You don't have a weapon. Take this with you. I'm holding a gun. Yeah, I'm hoping they keep the, uh, the Cthulhu stuff. Because I'm always down for cosmic horror. So yeah, I think the thing with this is, if you meet Barry there, he won't rescue you in the shotgun trap now. <clears throat> Which we can run and check real quick. I think you can put the gun back. I don't think the door to the room locks. If Barry isn't going to rescue you. Yeah, excellent. I appreciate it, Flame. sandwich yeah i think when barry's gonna rescue you the door locks so you can't get out when barry isn't gonna rescue you the door doesn't lock to give you the chance to go back because let's be fair if you did this and the, the door just locked and that was a guaranteed death because you picked up the shotgun that would turn people off it would be bad design yeah you hear the door didn't lock? Knife. Realize how much Jill shakes a butt when she's holding the knife. Hmm. That is weird, cat. It is weird. It's very knife. Anything else worth checking out? You can see what happens when you press the uh, the wrong button in the crow room. Remake, remake is one of those experiences that is best if you have experience with the original. Because it expands, it improves, but in particular it also messes with your expectations. In so many different areas.
Like the the room with the dogs is one of the best examples. Like the dogs jump at the window, and they break through in the the original. In this, they just hit the hit the window. No, they break through in the original. In remake, they hit the window, and it was not until the second time you go through that they'll break through. Or stuff like the plants. You pick up the chemical there, use it on the plant, there's a switch. Which way do you turn it? Turn it the wrong way, you'll destroy the healing items in the room. There's various little touches that are made to mess with people who are familiar with the original. And in that sense, it makes it like a third range mode. It's like you've got, th you've got the two modes in Director's Cut. Original, a standard, and a range. And a range moves items and enemies around. In that sense, you can kind of consider Remake to be a third version of that. I think it's cool. No Barry. Alright, so there's not a whole lot else for us to do with this right now. Um Exactly, that's another good example. Game messing with you. So let me close that quick. Um, hopefully RetroArch is going to work for me today with Saturn emulation. Because in that case... What we can do is we can take a quick look at the Sega Saturn version. Um, Beetle. I already did it. Flame. It is on the archive. Saturn emulation is such a pain. Yes, as in Scum VM games. I don't use that through RetroArch. I have a specific... I, I have Scum VM separate. <clears throat> Work, you bastard. Oh, my uh, Retro Achievements token has expired. This working. It's working. Yeah, it doesn't look like this is showing up on stream. Why is that? There we go. Yeah, OG Nocturne, not something I'm super into trying. And I'm, ne I'm not all that interested in actually finishing... Uh, ...the Rido version, because, like, so little has actually changed. They don't even give Rido his own theme. 
So yeah, this is Resident Evil on the Sega Saturn. We'll take a quick look at it. Okay, well, that's the end of our quick look at it, because it's fucking crashed. Fucking locked on my system for a minute, though. I need to... Locked on my system for a minute, though. Yeah, it was, though. There it is. I need to find another way of dealing with, um... Saturn emulation, because... RetroArch has just been a continuing disappointment for it. God knows I want to do that Saturn Sympathy of the Night. Let's do a demo for a bit. Go games and demos. So this is official US PlayStation Magazine Demo Disc 21. I want to find the European ones, like some ISOs of the European demo discs. That I grew up with because I swear they were better than these. Like these ones all feel like they've got like four demos if that. Well the ones I grew up with had would have like eight demos. Nineteen ninety nine, so what do we got on this? NFL Blitz Bloody Raw two Star Ocean, fucking hell. What's the move four? Elmo's Letter Adventure, MLB 2000, Oddworld Abe's Exodus, Ridge Racer Type 4, not bad. Jade Cocoon, a video of Tony Hawk's Pro Skater. That's a garbage demo. There you go, demo disc 10. See what this gets us. Just to wrap up, and the next time we'll start uh, the Chris scenario. Do Chris. Oh, Flame, did you find that um, Survivor 2 clip? I, I don't care about this. I've never played Jersey Devil. Probably tomorrow. Uh, I'm up on Friday, so I'll be able to go later tomorrow. Who knows, maybe I'll do the entire Chris campaign in one soon. Why the fuck is jump on square?
That city graphic is weird. Like, parallax scrolling city graphic behind the draw distance? Like, I don't, I don't like that. Have anyone ever played this? Jersey Devil? <clears throat> when are you streaming next, Amber? You have them? Okay. I had to punch the gate. Character model looks nice enough. Oh, we're gonna have a, a conflict to schedule. Oh, jeez. If I had a little more time, or if it was relevant, I think, um, I've got the Final Fantasy VII demo. The, like, I'm absolutely... Clay, uh, Clay we, we need to check out the Final Fantasy VII demo. Not if I start at 9pm. That's fair. This is a bonus, <clears throat> but if you die, that's a proper death. What the fuck is this, Mario Sunshine? Graphically, it does look quite nice, although I can't... Oh, I say that. The character model looks nice. Um, but I can't tell if that's because of the uh, emulation or not. Controls are a little stiff, but this is a... Uh... A 3D platformer maps to the D-pad, so you can't really hold that against the game itself. It's just the sins of early PS1 3D games. I guess we know what you're doing for Halloween, number. But yeah, Clem, we should uh, we should do that before we start FF Seven next time we're doing it. I <laughs> have. You've got an emula emulator you can uh, stream from, don't you, Amber? God damn it. It's like there's some interesting PS1 horror games. God, that camera. Uh, the FF7 demo. That came with Tobal number one. Yeah, that's got him interested. So I was thinking about earlier today, <clears throat> and like we've got the camera now like just facing me head on. And the great thing about that is now the camera will go anywhere on the stream. Like I can have the camera positioned anywhere and it'll be fine. Whereas before, because I was facing a specific direction on camera, like, it always made it look weird. Like, I'm facing left, but the camera's on the left side. But now I can just move the camera wherever. Which is great for 
games with interfaces in weird areas. This bonus level is pissing me off. So I've played Blasto a little bit on stream before. I think I did a demo of Blasto on stream before. It might have been this demo. Um, Blasto, most notable for having Phil Hartman as the voice of the main character. You might remember him from such shows and movies as Jingle All The Way, The Simpsons, and probably something else, I don't know. <clears throat> Oh no, it wasn't this demo. Definitely not. <clears throat> the game didn't do amazing as far as I'm aware. But like, there were plans for a sequel. But those plans were cancelled uh, when Phil Hartman was murdered by his girlfriend. The development team said like he was the heart and soul of the project and they just couldn't do it without him. Damn, these things just keep coming. <clears throat> Timing on that is tight. There we go. Unlike Jersey Devil, this is a tank controls platformer, which isn't good for fast-paced movement. God damn. <clears throat> Am I just bad at video games? That's the question we're going to find out here today on Mecha Chrono. There we go. <clears throat> oh, I can charge it up. Cool. Right, so you can only hit him with a charge shot. So you've not really been able to hear his voice in this because he's not really spoke much. Uh, but for those of you who aren't aware, Phil Hartman was the voice of uh, Lionel Hutz and Troy McClure in The Simpsons. And after his death, they retired those characters out of respect.
Probably wasn't worth it. Run, Blasto. Oh, that's a game over. Remember, for every PS1 classic you play, there was a lot of shit. Is Blasto one of those? No, not really. Blasto's fine, I'm just not very good at it. And we'll end on a video of the best fighting game on the system. That was a terrible video. Like, I'm down for second three, and that didn't get me hype at all. Mm. Like, second three has a real... You know what? Fucking... Where's second three? It hasn't, it isn't showing it. There we go. Like you give me 20 minutes to get some Tekken 3 footage and edit it together, and I'll give you a better trailer for Tekken 3 than that was. Fucking jeez. The Tekken 3 was so good. And it looked so good as well. Like Tekken 3 came out in the arcade and it was too powerful for PlayStation. They had to downgrade the graphics for PlayStation and it still looked fantastic. I was talking in um, M-Dub stream when he was playing Tekken 2 a little while back of like Tekken 2 was Yoshimitsu's last good, like really good design. But like Tekken 3 is not a bad design for Yoshimitsu. Like, show off some of the music from the game. There's one track in the game that would absolutely work, and it's the demo track. Like, we skip this, go back to it, and let it load the demo up. And there's a track there that's perfect for trailer usage. This one.
that was so goddamn high back in the day. Just the quality of those animations and everything. <sighs> Alright, but that's going to do it for us for today. Um... Would I call that part one of 10 years of Resident Evil, or would I call that like half of part one? We'll call it half of part one of the 10 years of Resident Evil is done. Uh, we come back, we'll be doing the Chris campaign of OGRE1. So I'll look forward to that, it'll probably be tomorrow. Uh, at some point, I'll post on the Discord when we're going live, or... Click the follow button if you haven't already to get the notification out. Sometimes it just doesn't give notifications. Um, yeah. Once again, the uh, 10 years of Resident Evil Point Redemption, we're going to be going through all the Resident Evil games released between 1996 and 2006. All of them. And make a point, I said released. So we're not going to be playing through the cancelled Game Boy Color port. As neat as that is, like, if you want to see it all the way through, look elsewhere, because I've, no, I've got no interest in actually doing it all the way through. It's a cool thing that it exists, but it's not a good game. Um, after RE1 will be RE2, then 3, then Survivor, I think, and then Code Veronica. After that, I need to check the dates, because they get very close together. I'm glad you're excited, Amber. I am also very excited, and I hope you can hear that in my voice. Hear the excitement that I have for this series. Um, yeah, back tomorrow. We should be streaming tomorrow on Friday. And then probably Saturday, because I can uh, go a little later on Saturday as well. So, four-day run of streams, probably? I don't know, probably. Probably. Uh, Code Veronica X, yes. Probably going to be doing Code Veronica X. We'll probably be doing the GameCube version. Um, I was debating doing HD on Xbox. But if I do that, it's going to be in widescreen. And I like having 4x3. Because it means I can keep all the stream stuff on the side and leave the game uncovered. I don't like that. I like doing that. Because ultimately, a big part of the point of this is the games. And the more of the games you can see, the better. Um... I'll wrap up, because I've still not said the thank yous and shit. We'll have this going in the background. Uh, so yeah, that's going to do it for us for today. We're back tomorrow, probably. About nine-ish, probably. Um, with more Resident Evil 1 doing the Chris campaign. In the meantime, I want to thank everybody for joining the stream. I always really appreciate the support. Big special thank you to everybody in chat. That is always the best part of the stream. Um, Flame, Klim, Teak, Amber, Cat, Star. I th think that's everybody. far as I can tell, that is everybody. Uh, but if you were in chat and I've missed you, I do apologise, but you were very much appreciated. Chat is always the best part of the stream. Play Tekken 2. Tekken 2 is fucking awesome. Tekken 3 is a major step forward, but like, people forget just how big of a step forward Tekken 2 was from Tekken 1. And the soundtrack is still like top 3 of Tekken soundtracks. God damn. Well, that's some goddamn amazing music. Uh, but yeah, look forward to uh, that stuff.
we'll be doing something different on Sunday. Not sure what it's going to be, but Sunday is a reserve for other streams. Um, next weekend, we will be starting, Clem and I will be starting our long-awaited Final Fantasy VI playthrough. Where we'll be doing our critical discussion of a critically acclaimed masterpiece that is beloved by all except Clem. Uh, and Clem will be telling us why. Uh, so look forward to that. It should be fun. Like, discussing the uh, the positives and the negatives, because it's not a perfect game, nothing is. So look forward to that, I'm looking forward to that, it'll be next Sunday. Uh, this Sunday? I don't know. I'll work something out. And I think that's it, I don't think there's much else to really say. Play Tekken 2. Don't buy PlayStation Plus to play Tekken 2, though. I know it's on there, don't do it. You go out and you emulate that. Yep, that's pretty much it. So, thank you all for watching. Have yourselves a fantastic time of day. And take care. We'll catch you next time, guys. Bye. Tick